as a retinoblastoma surgeon that was always really frustrating to me is that two kids would come in and they would look exactly alike. Same age, same size tumor, same eye affected. I mean, these two kids looked exactly alike and you'd treat them the same way. You'd give them chemotherapy and one kid would respond and one kid wouldn't. And I just knew, I think it wasn't just me, we all knew that just like breast cancer and prostate cancer and lung cancer, there had to be some sort of genetic etiology for why one tumor responds to treatment and the other just is so aggressive and recurs and recurs and recurs. But the problem with retinoblastoma, unlike breast and lung and prostate cancer, is you can't just go get a piece of tumor and check for those genetic changes. The only time you actually get access to tumor tissue is when you remove the eye. And so, yes, sometimes we have to remove eyes in retinoblastoma, but obviously we don't wanna remove it just for tumor tissue. And obviously once the eye's removed, you can no longer correlate things. So you can't say like, okay, these are the genetic changes, did the cancer respond to X or Y treatment? We've been doing an innovative new thing. So instead of taking the tumor, we've been able to take clear fluid in the front of the eye. It's called aqueous humor. And we searched to see if there's tumor DNA in the aqueous with fingers crossed, and there is. So for the first time ever, in eyes that are being treated, in eyes that have not been removed, we now have access to tumor DNA. We've analyzed 50 samples so far, actually, and our first publication is coming out with just, just the first few. But already in the first 50 samples, there actually is a difference in the genetic profiles for the tumors that do well and the tumors that don't. I could not have done this research without uh, the collaboration that exists between USC and CHLA. I'm really hopeful um, that in the future, the aqueous will open up an entirely new era of precision medicine for these retinoblastoma patients. You're gonna have to ask me in five years, but I really do hope I can say game changer. Not I hope it's a game changer, but it was a game changer.